Another type of tween I can do is called a motion tween. I can get um, a graphic to sort of float back and forth on the screen. So let me go ahead and make a graphic. Um, you can get to a new graphic by going insert new symbol, but I want to share with you the, the keyboard shortcut. It's control and then F8, and that will get me to this menu as well. So I'm going to call this guy um, circle because that's what it is and say OK, and now I'm inside my graphic. I can tell that because I can see on the menu up here. I'm not in scene one, I'm actually inside the circle. Let me go ahead and draw this. I want it to have a gradient because that's cooler. Um, and red and green, they're not gonna look good. Let's make it uh, yellow, uh, blue outline, yellow outline, that's cool. Okay, so let me draw my circle. Here we go. I'm gonna grab it and center it on this little cross hatch. And then I am ready to start tweening. So I'm gonna go back out to scene one. Um, if I want to animate directly on scene one, then I can drag my circle one. But a lot of times I want to animate inside of a movie clip so that I can drag on multiple instances of that clip. So let me go ahead and just insert Control F8, a movie clip. Let's call this moving circle. Oh, moving circle. All right, and now I'm going to drag my circle on the screen. And I'm going to go ahead um, and go to, let's say, frame... 15. I want to make a copy of this in a keyframe, so I'm going to hit F6, and that just makes a copy of my last keyframe. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to frame 30 and do it again, and I'm going to go back to the middle one and move it. So let me move this guy over here. And that way when I go between the frames, it's going to go back to its starting position. Um, to get this to tween or guess the in-between animation steps, all I have to do is right-click on the gray area, create motion tween, right-click again, create motion tween. If I hit enter to see this, it's going to float back and forth. If I actually test the movie clip, you're going to see it plays on the loop. Oh, that's right. I have to go back to scene one and bring my movie clip on, drag on moving circle. Let's see. There we go. So it's coming back and forth. Um, the reason I want to animate inside a movie clip is because if I do, I can bring on a whole bunch of copies of this, and they can all be going at the same time, and I can actually like have them be different sizes and whatnot. So let me pull this down. And then when I test it, I've got all these instances of the movie clip working, and I only had to make one of them. And so that is how you do a basic motion tween.